Hello, welcome to a bumpy homebrew tasting. Uh, in the glass I have a uh, little bit of Finru, which is an IPL I put together from hops that were sent from Finru out of New Zealand. They are all New Zealand hops that went into this. Uh, was uh, Nelson Suaven, uh, Rewaka, and Waiiti. I guess, uh, and yeah, so for a lager, it's not super clear. I don't really do lagers. I decided uh, because I got all these hops that I would just uh, basically Frankenstein it, throw throw all those hops in and uh, just try to make a really bitter uh, IPL. Uh, it was supposed to be a double IPL. Didn't quite reach the ABV was supposed to be 8%, came out to a 7.35%. And, um, yeah. So this uh, beer had been a long time in the making, doing doing the lager, doing the, the actual lagering. And, um, head on it, it's a, a bit of an off-white uh, head type bubbles, uh, a little frothy. The coloration is uh, kind of like a... Uh, a light amber uh, to like a, a dark copper color uh, most of the hops uh, went in in the last five to one minute left of boil I did throw uh, a few in there just to boost up the bitterness around the 30 minute mark it was a 90 minute boil and uh, yeah let's uh, go ahead and So it has like a slight bit of like a tropical aroma. There's some uh, other aromas coming up too. Uh, doesn't smell super bad, but it's not really really uh, really pungent or whatever on the uh, aromas. Um, so let's go in for the first swig. Get a little bit of a grainy malt flavor, some hay. There's a little bit of bitterness to it, but it's not it's not anywhere close to what it should be. Um, it was, this was supposed to be like 100 IBUs. This is not coming off like 100 IBUs at all. This is probably closer to like a, a 40 IBU at that. Now, as far as the, the hop flavor itself, there's not a whole lot coming through. It's kind of just a muddled mess. Um, I should have probably uh, researched the hops uh, before just throwing them all in together uh, to figure out you know, exactly what they were going to give off. Uh, I just decided to use them all. And just see what I come up with with a style that I'm not comfortable really making, which would be a lager. So, um, I mean, it's not a it's not a drain pour, but there's just some flavors in here that are not not the best. Like I said from the malt itself, um, I did use uh, Pilsner, and I believe I used Munich. Um, as well, it could have been Vienna. I'd have to go back and look at the recipe or rewatch my video I made, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not overall, um, that impressive of a beer. Um, uh, like I said, I wish I had, had spent more time, um, uh, researching everything, um, uh, to, to build this. Lager. I just figured um, it would come out like a big tropical bomb, 
and uh, it didn't. So, carbonation on it's not very high either. I was going for like a really high carbonation, I've been messing around with the uh, PSI on it. And this one's just, uh, right now it's just kind of like a medium carbonation at best. I think uh, a little more carbonation would probably give it a little more bite on the tongue, but yeah. This is uh, kind of a, a failed a failed homebrew, but uh, cheers guys and thanks for watching.